Hello everyone, this is HSSK here, back with some more Bronze League Heroes! Oh my god, that's my favorite intro to do. It always has been, or at least since starting the series, and I think it will be for a very long time. Hard to bring that level of excitement to every single cast. Let's go ahead and introduce our players, and then we're going to talk for just a moment. Down in the bottom right side, it's going to be the Inst, which is apparently already sending out a probe! I smell a cannon or gateway rush, and his opponent up at the top left side from the Clan Hope, or Hop3, or Ho P3. Not exactly sure how to say that clan name. We're going to go with Clan Hope. It is going to be Wise Owl. Ooh, very nice. We'll see if he's uh, extremely wise at this game or not. But... I do want to mention that the whole point of Bronze League Heroes is to remind you guys that no matter how good or how uh, not so good you may be at StarCraft 2, the game is still fun. You should still definitely play because all levels of play can be enjoyed. And that's not to make fun of the players. Common mistake. We're not making fun of the players here. They may make us laugh. This is true. This is true. A little laughter never hurt anybody. But uh, the whole point really is to just show every aspect of StarCraft 2 is awesome. And no matter how good you are, even if you aren't a Grandmaster player, there's no reason not to play so it is going to be a pvp although really in bronze league heroes i don't really consider the matchup at all because there's no standardized builds oh oh right now we do actually have that pylon going to be down and i believe that it's going to be a delayed cannon rush he decided to drop the pylon in the base first before the forge so already not the most efficient play but that is okay anyways matchups in uh, bronze heroes do not really matter because there's no such thing as standardized boring builds they just do not exist uh what does exist right now though is i actually just made an instagram if you want to follow me if you want to follow me on that whole instagram uh thing go to instagram.com slash husky it is not Husky StarCraft. It is literally just Instagram.com slash Husky. I, I don't even know how you follow me on, like, a phone. If you search for Husky, it should come up. If you go to the internet and you're logged in, it should come up. So go follow me, guys. I'll be posting pictures of stuff. Not not screenshots of StarCraft, though. Uh, pictures of stuff. There's already one photo on there. And uh, you can only find the exclusive photo at Instagram.com. It's been a long time since I've driven to one of my social media, so I can really, I feel like I can really sell it. Just like, you know, 8 out of 15 doctors agree that Instagram.com slash Husky uh, is the website that you can follow. The other uh, doctors don't know what Instagram is and refused to answer the polling question and said we're too busy for this. But either way, we do have double cannons up for the end, so the cannon rush has begun. We also have a proxy pylon down here for Wise Owl. And I gotta say, you really know it's a uh, it's a Bronze League game when there is a cannon rush like this. And also a cannon rush that has not been scouted until the first Zealot is out. This is why you always kind of want to scout around your base if possible. Or scout the map or something. But he is going to see these cannons here now. Attacks him a little bit delayed. But guess what? Double cannon in the face. That's more than enough. Uh, to deal with just a singular zealot right now. And we do also have the gateway done for the Ents. He's got gas on the way. I love this pylon totally blocking his own gas. Totally fine with it. It is absolutely fine. We do have another gateway going to be on the way. Actually, double gateway on the way. And this cannon is in range of this gateway. I believe that that is a stalker. Yes, it is. So stalker is done. He could actually run these out all the way across the map. Needs to be careful, though. Just kind of watch out for these cans. Go ahead and reroute that. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bronze League Heroes is back. It is back, baby. This cannon right here is the one with the killing blow. Even the cannon's like, uh, okay. Uh, not quite sure what happened, but hey, we'll take the free kill. It does look like the gateway and the Cybernex core is going to be under siege. I believe that uh, Warpy technology should finish in time as the cannons are not focusing it down. Although focusing that down would be the ideal situation, I do believe that this will finish in time. The gateway, unfortunately, not so lucky. We'll never see that warp gate technology come to fruition. And uh, we do have the Zalk going to go ahead and move on in down here. Did he learn from lessons past of that stalker? Just needs to make sure to avoid this cannon right here. Can easily attack the left side. Zealot, you have you learned nothing? Are you not entertained, Zealot? Apparently not. Apparently he's just like, this world is not for me. As he does go ahead and suicide himself there. So really wise owl. Not really the wisest of owls. He's kind of like the special owl from Harry Potter. Just not really, not really keeping it together. But he does have warp gate right now. Can easily warp in units on the front line. And if he ignores these cannons, he can place two stalkers right here. And actually lock down about, I would say, every mineral patch except for these far two. And be able to win quite easily. But of course, it's bronze league hero, so you never actually know what's going to happen. We do have the stalkers going to go ahead and move on in. Unfortunately, they're going for the pylon. And there is also a pylon in the back, which is already powering these cannons. So killing out the pylon, not going to be doing a whole lot. It does look like the probes are going to get pulled off the line. One stalker already down. The other zealot most likely going to fall as well. This stalker, he is done. Goof, why did he 
shoot the pylon twice? I don't understand. Not even trying to kill off a single worker there. Uh, worker's killed is still somehow zero for both of these players. The cannon rush continues here inside the main base, deciding not to be too aggressive, though he's slowly insting his way forward as uh, he is going to try and cut the space. Overall worker count, what is that actually at right now? 24 to 20. So it is favoring inst, and he is nowhere near supply block. Neither is Wise Owl, so not really worried about that. But I am worried about these units just suiciding themselves into pylons. I don't think he understands. Now, people were saying that some of the Bronze League Hero games were too high level of play. Those people, you had better be very happy right now because this is definitely some Bronze League play. The Zelthos are loose inside the Mineral Line. This is exactly what we were hoping for. And this is going to be a lot of dead probes. I mean, probes do not engage Zealots very effectively. They do somehow get a surround, but that's because they're just trying to focus down one of the Zealots. Not all of them at the same time. These Zealots, they don't care. They got blue hair, don't care, and it does look like that uh, Zelt is finally going to get taken out. We could see more units warping in, though. There's going to be the three Zelts there. No Cyber Nexus Core inside the main base. This cannon, is it in range of that Nexus? It's going to be dangerously close, and no, it's not! I feel like it's literally like a pixel away from being able to attack that, but one pixel is all that matters. It does like three-on-one Zealot action over here in the backyard as we do have another cannon going to get taken out or at least canceled. So we did actually get a refund there. More probes going to get taken out. This is what I'm talking about is one or two stalkers could lock this down. The Zealots right now, though, deciding to go for the Nexus needs to make sure that the Zealots do not make the same mistake as Zealots pass. And it does look like they will engage these probes. They can easily kill off all the probes if uh, these probes don't decide to run. I think the probes have literally just given up on life they're like all right we're done we're done w with control like this what's the point of living there really is none now the one stalker warping in though this guy can almost kill an unlimited amount of zealots here he can park it right here very few zealots gonna be able to surround it i don't think this nexus will die uh he is going to try and kill it off though does have a few probes mining it does look like this can up here is in range of the assimilator not that that player has been using gas whatsoever, but the stalker here desperately trying to save this Nexus. We'll see if he manages to. Is already up to two kills here. About to have a third. The other Zealot going to be joining in. Can he save this Nexus? I'm actually not sure. There's definitely not enough money here for another Nexus. He's trying to warp in a sentry. Can he force field him off there? He definitely could if he wanted to, but it does look like the Nexus will fall. And is it done? Has the Inst lost? He doesn't have enough money to recreate this Nexus. And in a, a game where many mistakes were made, it does look like Wise Owl had... Oh, 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 wait. Oh, but wait. This Nexus is actually in range of this cannon. There's no more money for uh, any more cannons here, but I've seen bigger mistakes made. This Stalker is alive. And what can this stalker actually do? He does have five kills. I think his sentry buddy died. So it's one stalker and two probes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here come the Zelts. So they're mighty angry. These cannons are in such a good spot. It's hard to get the surround. Going for the pylon. No. Stop doing that. The pylon is not worth it. There's no reason to kill that off. There's no reason to take any damage. And it does look at those Zelts. They, they, they run away snickering as if they've done something successful when all they have done is actually die and kill off absolutely nothing other than a pylon. So at this point, it is up to this one next side and it is taking 20 damage per shot once it breaks through the shields that's when the armor starts to kick in so it's going to keep it alive just a little bit longer but these cannons are still alive once again he went for the he went for the pylon again they're still powered from the back side this pylon should have all these kills 12 kills on this cannon five kills on the backup cannon i actually don't know about this guys he's getting low on money he's got 13 zealots he's got to go for it with everything he's got that should be enough zealots to clean this up as long as he doesn't miss micro here not that there's really any micro micro whatsoever needed so it does look like he's finally mustered enough to be able to kill off his opponent wait 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 i may have spoke too soon because these else also have to kill off the cannons they have to kill off the cans okay the probe didn't last very long the pylon and the oh my god this is literally one zealot attacking the other guys are like hey uh can we get in there can we, can we, can we, can we, can we join in on this? Uh, there is, oh my god, he added more gateways. He doesn't have that much money. If he does one more warp in of units, he cannot make a nexus. Oh, he's putting the nexus back here, though. This should be a guaranteed win. This should be a guaranteed win. He did not mess it up. We have seen some horrible mess ups in Bronze League Heroes history, but wait, but wait. But wait, it may not be a guaranteed win. If he keeps his stalker alive, if he baits those probes into the cannons... Then, then, maybe the Zealots can't save this Nexus. The, the Stalker's ready to go. The probes could engage us directly. He's got a micro. He's got a micro. He's got to keep the Stalker alive. This game is still up in the air. Needs to not go for that, though. I don't think he realizes there's a Nexus on the way. I mean, how would he? 
as that Nexus is going to be well on the way. The Zealots have finally almost finished their job down here and uh, will have to be heading up north. There is double cannon, uh, double pylons, excuse me, and it does look like the Stalker going to take out the pylon. Doesn't really do a lot because there is, of course, these gateways down here. So on paper, Wise Owl should easily win. He's got 41 supply. Uh, versus three he's got 13 zealots versus one stalker and 15 probes versus one I mean that's kind of an obvious choice here it does look like though the stalker he may reveal what's going on he's been uh he's been uh oh uh oh here comes the probes right now. I gotta try and surround it he's not gonna be able to do it though if he can kill off these probes though this could spell disaster uh, looks like wise I'll try oh he canceled that he canceled that pylon. He definitely needed that pylon for supply. And right now, it does look at the stalker here. He's got a lot of work to do. The zealot's going to be moving out across the map. Not a single zealot can be made. I think that he canceled that pylon. Maybe to let the probes down there. But there is no mining going on. If those zealots decide to engage the cannons, I, I fear for their lives. If they run past the cannons and just protect the Nexus, that should be fine. But this is Bronze League Heroes, so maybe neither of those things will happen. We'll have to wait and see. The zealots moving their way out across the map. But remember that these are the derpy lots that we're used to seeing in Bronze League Heroes. The stock right now still doing a little bit of damage here and there. He's got a ways to go, but he's also he's also done a surprising amount of damage to this Nexus, considering that's just a solo man job. Here comes the zealots right now. They're going to be running up the ramp. Some of them will probably die trying to run past he's clicked them on the rocks right now we're basically waiting a lot of damage being dealt on that nexus but uh, is going to begin regenerating that apparently going for the rocks here while getting shot in the face probably not a bold strategy uh i guess it is a bold strategy a little too bold though this stalker man he is slowly picking away is 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 the inst actually able to do this i'm just realizing that you know this stalker could eventually start cleaning up these units there's no uh, range units right now for Wise Owl deciding never to recreate that cybernetics core. That could be the nail in the coffin. This stalker, he's got a lot of work to do. Uh, this is where you cue the Benny Hill theme and you just kind of wait to see what happens. I mean, does Wise Owl try and mine? I think what he should actually do is just mine with a couple of probes, throw down a pylon, and just get out one stalker. All he needs is one stalker, really, to protect these. And the second stalker, of course, wouldn't help. So all he needs to do is mine with some of these probes. He needs to set up more pylons and needs to not run them into those cannons because that that's a dice toss i don't know the math on if that wins versus all those cannons or not but this stalker will happily very happily start to work down these buildings though uh why is al getting a little bit intimidated here he's ready to go he might actually go for the cannons this stalker slowly softening up the army of course the shields regenerate rather quickly so uh not gonna be that big of a deal but it does look like this army he may go for it he may oh wait wait he's abandoning ship He's abandoning ship. Where where is this ship sailing to? You are sailing into a typhoon. You have nowhere to go. There's no buildings down there. You can't afford a nexus. He literally has abandoned ship. The captain will not go down with this ship. The stalker now can begin working on this nexus. Wise Owl. I feel like if he was a little more wise, he would realize that this is not a valid option because the problem is, is he's going to lose his nexus. He's giving up all hope of making any units moving forward. And if he just wants to sit back here and, and twiddle his thumbs, that's stalker can eventually kill off that entire army even the probes gonna join in and honestly this is a smooth move the inst deserves the win if uh, if it comes down to that just because even using that probe there is going to help kind of beast mode his way through that. I don't know what these probes expect. I mean, there's no nexus here. This isn't an expansion. This is just kind of like the vacation home. You're, you, you don't come out here to do work. You come out here to escape uh, the woes of the world. And unfortunately, the woes of the world are back at home. So I think at this point, uh, the stalker is just going to work down this nexus. And uh, I mean, that nexus is done, man. It is an armored structure, so it does take additional damage from the stalker but of course that one armor making both those units do a little bit less damage but at this point i mean does he realize uh oh i have made a terrible mistake i have made a huge mistake i have made all magnitudes of a mistake right now and uh i the only way to deal with it is to engage oh he's got to be careful he's got to be careful with these probes he's got to be careful wise owl mistakes were made once again loses double probes the other one does take a lot of shield damage and uh, if he tries to move up that right oh oh careful there can still on the high ground Oh man, the inst. He, is he actually going to do this? Is he going to do the impossible? Is he going to kill like a 40 supply uh, player? He's going to go for it. He's just going to go for the cannons. He said enough is enough. He's going to try to make it happen. Unfortunately, he's attacking the one cannon there, which means all the other cannons going completely undefended. The supplies are absolutely dropping. The stalker's still alive. There's no more probes for red player, but there's also no units at all for wise alleys at zero supply. <sighs> Oh my god, he rage quits the game, does not GG this stalker. He deserves his own movie. I, I don't know what it would be called. It would be called the chosen one, the one stalker able to make this happen. 
Oh, man. And this is why... Look, guys, this is why we love Bronze League Heroes, because, you know, what should happen, it never does. What should not happen, eh, who knows? It probably will happen, and Bronze League Heroes is my favorite. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Follow me on Instagram, whether or not you liked it or not. Don't even care. If you have an Instagram account, I'm waiting. Open up a new tab. I'm not going to wait till you follow me. Look, look, don't, don't, hey, hey, don't you think you can close this video? You're, I, I know you tried, and now you're feeling a little bit guilty. You're feeling a little bit guilty, and hey, person who doesn't have an Instagram account, all right, you're off the hook. You're off the hook. I wouldn't ask you to make an Instagram account, but everyone else, you should feel actually pretty happy because this game was pretty awesome. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time.